From now on, I'll explain phosphorus state variables and their transformations. This figure indicates the dynamics of nutrients in a lake ecosystem. Firstly, in a euphotic zone, the multiplication of algae due to excessive nutrients increase zooplankton. Secondly, in a, a aphotic zone, after the death of uh, these planktons, they are decomposed into nutrients by aerobic bacteria. Thirdly, as eutrophication progresses, a part of suspended organic substance accumulates and becomes a deposited organic substance, a DOS. If DO is enough, DOS is decomposed by aerobic bacteria through oxygen consumption. However, if this situation continues, a nutrients elute and DOS is decomposed by anaerobic bacteria. As a result, unpleasantly, offensive gas such as H2S and mesomecaptan discharges. Like these, nutrients in water will change. And by the way, uh, the processes uh, for uh, phosphates are similar to the ones uh, for toxicants, as you can see in these figures. But there are roughly two differences. Uh, at first, toxicants can be removed from the water column uh, via uh, bioaccumulation and transformation, uh, whereas dissolved phosphate is taken up by algae uh, for growth. Secondly, some toxicant can be converted into a gaseous phase and released into the atmosphere via volatilization, but a phosphate cannot. In summary, it is significant to have a good representation of sediment processes before phosphorus processes can be described realistically. To sum up, we can understand that phosphorus is one of the key nutrients for algal growth. Specifically, in Lake Okeechobee, phosphorus is one of particular concerns. The annual mean phosphorus concentrations have increased dramatically 55 microgram per liter in 1973 to 110 microgram per liter in 2000. Hence, uh, it is said that eutrophication is quite serious around the world. Uh, this is end of my presentation. Thank you for your kind attention.